Hello everyone! Welcome to Essence of Eclectic, where the crafts are so fun you can't stick to just one. But it's acrylic pouring again today, and I am about to do an experiment! <laughs> I uh, quite enjoyed uh, Mickey Art's video about comparing uh, a dirty pour when you mix in, you add in the paints from high or into the cup, high or low. Yeah, this is a used cup. It's fine. Nothing's going to come off. Um, and I thought, well, what would happen if you poured a dirty cup from high or low? So that's what that's what I'm doing today. So I will use the uh, same colours in the same order, in the same style of cup, but one I will pour from on high. And the other one I will pour from low down. So, uh, the paints I picked were somewhat random-ish. Um, there's Mixing White, which is a mix of Zinc White and Titanium White. And as ever, Flow Troll and Global Pouring Medium in a one to two to one ratio. Uh, and here's some uh, titanium white and Floetrol and GPM in a similar. And we have Thalo Blue, Joe Sonia. Okay, it doesn't have the proportions written here, but they're somewhere. And more Joe Sonia, Thalo Green. And then for a change, some Mars Violet and flow troll. Um, so I like to pour my paints in the order of density. I don't use silicon. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. I like to see what I can get when I don't use it. Um, so the reason why I want to put them in order of density, and that's the densest first because it comes out of the cup last and to get some flow in the paint you want the most dense thing on the top so that it will sink and the least dense thing on the bottom so that it will float and when it comes out the things on the bottom will be on the top so we put the densest one in first so in this case the densest is the mixing white because it's a mixture of zinc white and titanium white and zinc white is very heavy and then we go for the mars violet because that's the next most dense ah, see this is my cutting plan that's why i have the t both of the whites and then the titanium white because that's less dense than the Mars violet and then the phthalo green and the phthalo blue are very similar I can't remember which one is least dense forgot to shake them and you say no don't put air bubbles in I quite like air bubbles they do nifty things so it's phthalo green and then phthalo blue So 
so um, I could put uh, some titanium white on those I think I will just on the edges to sort of help it flow but only on one of them because I'll put the other one aside until I do it because my lovely little uh, silicon mat is not quite big enough for everything to fit okay so that's just stuff and we will start with the down low version and we will just pour it like it was a tree ring pour except not because I'm just pouring it okay some lovely cells already it's just the paint density people okay and we will tilt that a bit Move that back to the center and then tilt it this way and lose some of the blue, which I didn't really want to do, and put that back to the center and then. Okay, the Mars Violet seems to be taking over. Oh, I've got some nice big cells there. It looks like a big sort of monster rose thing. Okay, I like that composition better, that it's sort of half and half. So, we will put that aside for the little minute. around the edges as before we only want to change one variable as as one does scientifically mind you this is not truly scientific because we have too small a experimental case size to make it truly scientific you would have to do this several times okay so from on high So that's interesting, it's sort of more streaky.
And we will tilt this one too. So, I think what happened with the from on high is that the paint was more mixed together. Because with this one you got sort of green, blue, and then the Mars violet, whereas this one you, you got them all mixed together. So isn't that interesting? So the edges are still as sharp. Um, oh, I like that bit. Um, but... They are more mixed together. Well, that's good to know. Of course, I will torch both of them. Just look at the nice cells coming up. I love zinc white and mixing white. Hooray for dense paints. Oh yes, quite a few bubbles. There is no silicon in this paint. None. And that sort of Phenomenon with the with the microcells only seems to happen with some of the paint. Usually, when there's some of the white, at least that's what I've observed. And it happens when I sort of dab the. the uh, torch sort of in and out, giving it little bursts of heat rather than my usual gentle, which doesn't seem to, uh, but you have to be careful obviously, because you don't want it to get too hot. You see, I mean, I'm doing the same thing here. Okay, it's happening. But it doesn't happen everywhere. See, it's not happening in this spot. And it is happening where the white is. Quite enough cells there, possibly too much. So now is the time to mess around and have fun with it. So this one has so many little cells there that I'm going to tip them off a bit. I like that. And this makes me think of Miller Fiori glass. Okay. 
Let's see if I can move this part. It doesn't want to move. Okay. This one to go a bit more over the edge. Let's see if I can use the add some paint to pull it method. It's not. Okay, well maybe if I very, no, that's not going to work. Okay, let's sort of tendralize this. This is the edge of the paper, so okay, that's an improvement. need to scrape off some of the excess without scraping too much off and I will leave it at that I am very pleased And then back to this one, which isn't, it's looking more like a geode than Millefiori glass. I'm not sure that I want to do anything to it. Except maybe drag this a bit. Of course, the problem with the paint being so thick is it's going to take forever to dry, and that means I should tilt some off. Oh, come on, I don't want all of that to go. Okay, no longer looks like a geode. That's fine. We'll just make it look like a strata instead. Yes, this is in very danger of 
becoming muddy. So I should not do much more to it. Let's torch it just in case there's some movement. Oh, I got paint in my hair. Yay! See, I got some paint in my hair. But we're getting some teeny tiny souls. Hey. I like the ones here, definitely more contrasty. Perhaps not. Okay, that's enough torching. Possibly too much torching. We'll scrape a bit off. underneath. And we will put that away. Here, have a look. And I shall see you when it's dry. Thank you.